Hi, everyone. So I am here to share with you my amazing RV binder. Let me start, first of all, by saying that I am in no way um, someone that knows very well how to RV. So this will be a very first RV trip ever. This will be my very first time ever even in an RV. Um, I never RV'd as a kid. Uh, it's just, I don't even go camping. Dave brings the kids camping. It's just not really my thing. Um, <laughs> but I've been told that this is like more like glamping, which I can handle. We'll have, you know, like electricity and everything. So I'm good with that. Um, but so I probably around... I've known we I've wanted to do this trip for about two years. So we um, did American history with um, our community, our homeschool community. And um, this year and I knew when we did his American history, I wanted to go RV up to the 13 colonies. So I was like, OK, I want to RV, but I didn't know anything about it. And so I started asking around. Um, I started asking around and somebody told me that my, actually my friend Rachel told me that she rented an RV and I was like, what? I knew there was RV rentals, but she told me that she rented one like from a person. So it was kind of like Airbnb for an RV and I didn't know anything like that existed. So I was really excited and I was like, oh my goodness, that's going to save us a lot of money because let me tell you, the rentals were crazy. And, um, so I looked on the website. It was really easy. And I was like, okay, I'm excited. I'm going to do this trip. And then I went to book the trip. And I am a planner. I like to plan. But before we had kids, we used to just go ahead. Like we used to buy a plane ticket. Like Dave and I would buy a plane ticket and we would just show up somewhere like, and maybe have the first night of our like two or three week vacation booked. And then the rest of the time we just kind of winged it. And so I'm also like that type of person too. So I figured probably not good for an RV trip though <laughs> with three kids in tow. I was like, I don't think we can wing this. So I probably need to like figure out where we're going to stay, you know, how we're going to make everything work. And so I, went ahead and I went to book my first RV campground site. Four hours later, I was in tears. Like I had no idea what anything meant. I didn't know like what amp anything was. I didn't know how big the RV was. I didn't understand any of the lingo because I'd never even stepped in an RV. I did not know what to do. I, ha I had no idea. I was extremely overwhelmed. I went onto a bunch of websites and I felt like everything was just too much information. Like when you don't know anything, how are you supposed to even take the first step? So after about four or five hours of like total meltdown, I was like, okay, somebody has got to be able to do this for me. I'm all about easy buttons. Like I want an easy button. Oh, hi, Katie. Hey, Nicole. Um, I'm like, I want an easy button. I want someone to do this for me. Like, there is no way that this is going to happen. Like, how am I going to book two weeks when I can't even book the first night? And I don't even know where we're supposed to stay. Like, there's 80 campgrounds. What's the right campground? <laughs> so, so I got, I went online and I just put in RV travel agents or RV. I actually, I think I did exactly travel agent for RVs or something like that. Um, Cause I figured there's gotta be one, right? There's gotta be somebody out there that can plan this trip for me. I mean, 
there's people that plan trips around the world for people. Why can't someone plan, you know, plan this RV trip for me? And um, everyone's like, I don't think that exists. Yeah, it's just so you know, you can find anything on the internet. <laughs> so I went ahead and I found a couple different people and I called them and then um, I narrowed it down to one company and they're actually out of California. So like the East Coast is not um, what they do a lot, but they could do it. Um, so without further ado, this is my 13 colonies trip. So as you guys can see, it says RV adventures. That is, and look, she even put like our names and the dates are going to be gone. Um, and this is the binder. And she basically, like I contacted her and she put together everything, everything. So a lot of people were asking me about this binder, like what's in it and, um, and you know, just all of that. So I'm going to quickly go over the binder with you guys. So first of all, in the binder, she included a ton of different, you know, books for everywhere we're going. And then it begins, so I'm gonna kind of prop it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it begins with like a trip overview, explaining what the tabs are, um, just everything. And then it's, so this is basically cut like the table of contents. And then this is the at a glance and it drips, uh, it basically says what day, so it gives all the dates, all of our destinations, the total miles, the estimated driving hours without any stops, which was really cool and interesting. Hey Lynn, thanks for joining. And then the number of nights we're staying. Then she went on to, give us information about campgrounds because I've never actually stayed at any of these RV type campgrounds. What to do when we arrive at the campground. This seems like basic information for someone that has traveled with an RV before, right? They'll be like, yeah, duh. But if you've never traveled with an RV, you don't know what you're supposed to do, what's expected. Um, and so she broke it all down. Um, I mean, she even explains like how to position in the site, powering up, how to get your water supply, um, setting up your campsite. I mean, it's like, it's all in here. It's amazing. And then she even has campground etiquette. <laughs> like the, which is, you know, you have to know etiquette for everything you do. There is etiquette. There's etiquette in running. There's etiquette in um, triathlons. There's etiquette in anything that you do. There's going to be etiquette. So you should learn what's the etiquette for what you're doing. So they're telling me like what we're supposed to do. All right. And then she even went uh, like explained and went through junior ranger programs National Park Pass, if we were going to go to more national parks, which we're kind of not. Um, okay, and then it goes into each day. She breaks it down from each day, what we're doing, how long we're driving, and then the directions. I took some notes, and look, watch, it gets even more amazing. All the maps for everywhere we're going, and then all the points of interest like our first point of interest is savannah and she based it off of um she bases it off of like the mileage so like most likely around this mileage we'll need more gas in the rv and this is what we'll be around so like our first point of interest is savannah and she 
lists off if we want to spend more time there everything that is like the top things to do in savannah and then yeah she includes maps for everything it's pretty awesome do, do, do. and then another point of interest during our first drive so our first drive is straight to DC. Look, she even includes pictures for the turns to get into the campground. So in case like we got, were confused, she's got pictures. And then she includes the campground, how long we're staying, um, check in, check out, everything, reservations, cancellation, and it gets even better. She even includes a little, map and it's highlighted where our actual little campground is. So, and she did that for every single campground. She also Google drove this entire route to make sure that there were not um, like unforeseen um, stops for construction or road changes that aren't on on you know any type of um, directions and yeah and all of that so it's it's like incredible I'm not sure how she could <laughs> she did this but yes so I highly recommend it um, confirmation okay and again she gives us all different things to do so our first stop is going to be in Williamsburg and Yorktown. And then we move on, and so in every single one, so then we move again, and we go to our first point of interest, which will be Mount Vernon. We move on, and we're going to be in Washington, D.C. Again, so all these things that I showed you earlier, are for every single place we're going. And then she even marks off like the top sightseeing activities we'll be doing. And so I took a lot of notes. She actually walked me through this binder once I got it and we got on the phone and I walked through every single day with her to make sure that I understood what I was supposed to be doing, when I was supposed to be doing it, when would I have downtime, when, um, what, what did she think we could actually get in? Hey, Sharice, thanks for joining. Um, and so then I marked some things that she said but didn't actually put down. Like she mentioned the Smithsonian Castle and Museum in D.C. Um, and then, oh, look, and she even put maps like this is like of, like of D.C. So we know where all the memorials are. <laughs> and then um, the Arlington Cemetery. And she just marks like everything that you can do with the, um, and it just so shows like the changing of the guard. Um, and these are the top things. So what I did was when I contacted her, I told her, so I want to do an RV trip of the 13 colonies in 16 days. Oh, and by the way, I would also like to do Niagara Falls. <laughs> So we are not hitting technically all 13 colonies. We have, we have to drive straight through to, D to Williamsburg in DC, um, but we don't mind. I mean, we go to Georgia and South Carolina and my sister lives in North Carolina. So we are there a lot um, and we've done things there before. So I didn't mind going straight to DC. Um, and then there's a few things that we're kind of missing in the Northeast because I wanted to take more time in other places. So, um, but that's what happens when you only have 16 days and you have a lot of driving to do. If we want to hit these things along the way, we're, we're just going to miss some stuff. It would take us a lot longer than um, 16 days to do 
obviously 13 states um, and see everything we actually want to see. So um, then we move on and from, from DC we go to Baltimore and from Baltimore we head um, to, to New Jersey. And New Jersey is the closest we can get to New York City. <laughs> she is magical, Nicole. She's amazing. Um, oh, wait, stop. We, we stop in Philadelphia. See, forgot, but it's in my book. <laughs> so I don't have to remember. Um, and again, she says where we should stop. So that's where we're going to go see the Liberty Bell. And we're going to do Independence Hall. And she said there's an amazing... Um, please touch museum. So I think the kids will love that. So we'll probably make an effort to get the, to that too. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Finn is, I guess, going to either sleep on us or sleep in the stroller because he's just going to have to power through this two week trip. He's not going to be getting many naps. Um, and da -da. So while I'm talking about the places I'm going, if you guys have any suggestions of like where I should eat in DC or in Baltimore or Philadelphia um, or New York, please comment on the video because I really, I mean, she actually recommends some restaurants, but I would love to know what your favorites are. Um, it would just be amazing because I don't I I really don't know when we'll be eating out when we won't be eating out but if we could have <laughs> yes Nicole you have to come to me I can't go to your house with my RV though you, you got to come to me hey Ashley thanks for joining us um, okay so we are going to Liberty Harbor Marina and RV Park for two nights so we can see New York so this RV Park um, she has little pictures of everything. It's awesome. Um, but this RV park is on the New Jersey side. And so you overlook the New York skyline at night. And they have a ferry. It has a picture right here. They have a ferry from the RV park that brings you straight to New York City. So it could bring us to Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty, which is what we're planning to do the very first day. And then it can bring us to either the north or the south end of Manhattan. Um, and we're planning, I really loved the Museum of Natural History as a kid. We used to go every year. So that's definitely something that I'm going to plan on doing with the kids. I'd love to be able to get to Central Park and Times Square and a lot of places, but I'm not sure. We, I'm not sure how much time we're gonna have for everything. Um, because really Ellis Island and um, the Statue of Liberty, I haven't been to since I was Cade's age at 11. So I would love to go back. And I think those are really important for the kids to see. So I definitely want to do that. And as you can see, so this is like the RV campground. And then we move on. So she has some blurbs about New York and things to see. Lots of things to see, obviously, um, which we will not be getting to, but we'll have to do another trip of just New York. Obviously, New York requires a lot more than two days. Okay, and then from there, we are moving on and we're going to Plymouth. So from New York, we're going to Plymouth. Some um, points of interest she has for us is Sleepy Hollow, which I'm not sure if we're going to be able to stop at or not. Um, plus, you know, I don't know, the kids don't really, they've never seen Sleepy Hollow or anything, so. Um, uh, the other one is Mystic Seaport Parking, uh, Mystic Seaport, which I'm planning on bringing the kids to, and not that they've seen Mystic Pizza, but I definitely would like to eat at Mystic Pizza, and I think it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Central Park, oh, I know. I love Central Park, Ashley. So I'm hoping we can get there. Um, we used we went to Central Park Zoo with the kids when they were way younger. Not, I don't think they even remember it at all. Um, but I would love to get back to Central Park 
Definitely. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so then we move on. Again, awesome pictures. If you missed it before, she gives pictures <laughs> of how to get into the RV campgrounds for every single campground. It's amazing. And then she has awesome little pictures of the campground. Um, oh, look, this is really funny. Most of the campgrounds have a pool. So she like highlighted that it doesn't have a pool. <laughs> it's like this one doesn't. And then she's like, just so you know, the New Jersey campground is just a parking lot. I was like, yeah, I didn't expect anything different next to New York City. But that's okay. We're not there for the campground in New York City. Um, okay, so then we go into Plymouth, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And again, she wrote a bunch of different things to see, Plymouth Rock, um, the museum, Spooner House. Um, she just has a plethora of things for us to choose from. And da, 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 she includes books for each, each like point of interest at each place we're stopping. That's what all of these pamphlets are. So you can see, like, we have that one, we have Williamsburg, um, there's all kinds, Mount Vernon, Boston. Okay. All right, moving on. Then we go from Plymouth to Phelps, New York. And Phelps, New York is basically um, just a stopping point for us to get to Niagara Falls. Um, but she has some fun points of interest for us um, through uh, in Phelps, New York. And then we go to Niagara Falls. And again, beautiful maps, beautiful pictures. Oh, this one has a heated pool in the summer. We'll need that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The pools up here are not warmer than about 65 degrees. Don't worry, Nicole. They've got... She, these are heated pools. <laughs> well, you know, up north, you do need them. But we'll see. Um, I mean, our pools right now are, like, in the low 70s, I think, because of all the rain we've been having. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Niagara Falls, then... Um, before, when I was, so I've been talking to her since January. She's been planning this trip for us. Um, she, we went through 19 itineraries. So this was my 19th itinerary with her. Um, and mostly just because we kept going back and forth about how long we should spend at each place and w what we could actually do. Um, and so I've known since January that we needed to get passports if we wanted to see the Canada side of Niagara Falls. So we got passports so that we can walk over a bridge to see the Canada side um, because everyone keeps telling me it's amazing. So I will probably be live to show you if it's worth the passport fee <laughs> and the extra money. <laughs> so... We will be going, we will be doing Niagara Falls um, US side one day. And then, um, yes, 19, Nicole, pretty crazy. And then we will, look, she even include like border crossing information um, on how to do everything, what's expected. And obviously, so it's called uh, Cross the Rainbow Bridge by foot. So we can go. So we'll spend the day in Canada on the other side. Um, and she explains, like, everything that we can do. So, and then from Niagara Falls, we head to Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. And she has some stops, obviously, so we can get gas and food, stretch her legs, all that kind of stuff. And like I said earlier, she includes all directions that are broken down. So um, basically, she said these directions override anything that our GPS would say because of the RV. Um, it's really funny. I don't think I showed you, but back here, 
when we're going into New York. She has it like highlighted and underlined a million times. Let's see if I can find it because it's really funny. Um, that we cannot go through. Yes. Do not get in the Holland Tunnel. And that's like the second time it's highlighted on the second page. Um, <laughs> she just says it over and over again. She's like, you will not fit in the Holland Tunnel. <laughs> so we have to like go this other way around. But it's it's really great. So then we go to Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. And again, she has a bunch of things already worked out for us for Gettysburg that we can do. There we go. There's Gettysburg. And, you know, she just marks everything we can do, touring the battlefield, National Cemetery, walking tours, um, and so forth. And then from Gettysburg, we go to Virginia, Wytheville. And that's basically just to stop along the way to get us back to Jacksonville. But she has... Um, you know, there's the nature bridge. She has all these amazing points of interest that I, you know, I don't know if I would have known. It would have taken a lot of research to do a lot of this that I just basically told her, I want to go to the 13 colonies and I want to see like all the major stuff, the historical stuff. And she just filled in the gaps for me. Um, so that's incredible. I don't, I love to plan, but I want an easy button if I need it. Like, Someone else do this if possible. <laughs> Sometimes it's just you have to take that off of your shoulders. Um, and I needed to. Not, you know, some people absolutely love this. And this is, you know, do this without thinking. That was not me. Maybe after I've done a few trips, I could probably do this myself. But I really, really, really needed this. Um, so anyway, she so she included the National Natural Bridge, Native American Village, um, and just all these things that we can do. And then we're going to stop. Look, and she has all these wonderful notes for me, like no campground arrivals after 10 p.m. Like a lot of the other campgrounds, it doesn't matter when you go, go in as long as you've call, called and told them. But like this one has an actual cutoff. So we have to be there by a certain time. So that's good to know. Um, let's see. And then we go, oh, then wh where are we? Asheville? Oh, and then we go to Asheville. And of course, everyone knows in Asheville is the Biltmore. Will we get to the Biltmore? To tell you the truth, I'm not really planning on it. <laughs> We're going to have seen so many things by the end of this trip. I'm really hoping um, that Asheville is going to just be us walking trails and, you know, just being outside, maybe kayaking, doing something that is not us in a museum or seeing another monument or seeing a house. <laughs> so I would love to go back to the Biltmore. I know that the Biltmore is incredible, um, but I just don't see us being able to do this like on our last day of travel. Um, so I circled all the canoe and kayaking and camping things she had. <clears throat> yes, Nicole, I know. I, um, I didn't even think about that. You're right. You should meet us up there. Okay, so then from Asheville, we head to Jacksonville. And that is our 16-day trip. So she includes in here driving an RV safety. She includes, <laughs> it's really funny. She even has, like, pictures of how to do the gas station with your RV. It's like really amazing stuff when you don't know any of this. Um, luckily, Dave knows a little more than I would. Obviously, he'll be the one driving the RV, and we are also towing our minivan. 
So he will be doing all of that. Um, and he does know most of this, but, um, but we haven't traveled with an RV. So, I mean, it has amazing things like, um, like lessons on how to set up your RV with the electric and the water and all those things that are there at the RV site. Um, so these are little things that it doesn't seem like a big deal if you RV before or if you even know what to do with one. But if you don't, like these little tips are amazing. Um, and we probably will be looking at this every once in a while. I mean, look, it even shows like a picture on how this, I mean, it's just really, it's incredible. Okay, and then she even has like what to pack, <laughs> which for me is an incredible addition to this. And as you can see, even more of these. Savannah, because that's our first one. There's our Asheville. Um, you know, oh, here's our Niagara Falls. So lots and lots of amazing things in this binder. So I will include the link um, to their website so you can check it out if you ever um, are thinking and think that like, this would be amazing for you to do. Let me tell you, it lifted so much stress off of me that I could actually enjoy thinking about this trip instead of worrying about it. And to me, that's priceless, really, to tell you the truth. Um, with the three kids, the last thing that I wanted to do was worry about, did I book that right? Do I have this correct? How are we going to get here? Is the, is the GPS going to get us to the right place? Um, her, she has us on specific roads just so if we need to, we can stop at any time because there's so many trucker stops. Um, and she made sure that like, you know, that we don't come across a bridge that we can't get under. I mean, that obviously like the Holland tunnel thing, how would we have known? Um, it's just all of those types of things. Also, we're going to be in a bunch of toll roads. So she, you know, sent me the link for the easy pass for, um, the Northeast. So those are things that like, we're going to have that, I probably, I really don't think I would have known any of this. Um, and if I did, it would have taken me a lot of time to figure it out. And I love planning, but when you don't know how to plan something, it's where do you go from there? Um, so Ashley, you asked me, didn't she get a big check? <laughs> uh, Thank you gift. Yeah, she got a big check. That was that was the thank you gift. <laughs> it is definitely not inexpensive. She has different packages. Um, it's actually three people that do it. Um, I think it's a family. They have their own, you know, like blog and everything. Um, they're out in California. So they RV a lot. Um, it's actually her dad that has done a trip similar to this. So he really knew a lot of um, of the trip. Um, but yes, I mean, she has different levels of packages and I basically got the package. The only package above what I got was lim limo and plane service. <laughs> it was like the one above it was like, you go to the plane and the limo picks you up and brings you to like, it was just ridiculous. Like it included, um, car rentals and uh, all kinds of stuff. So you could, I mean, man, you could get that. That would be incredible. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, what's Sliding Rock? Ashley, what's Sliding Rock? Where's that? I, did, I missed that comment. Oh, Nicole, did you say Sliding Rock? Where's Sliding Rock? Are you guys still on? Somebody comment where Sliding Rock is. Oh, in Asheville. Okay, see? I don't think that was in here. I'm going to have to write it down. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, thanks, guys. Um, you know, let me know if you have any... <laughs> let me know if you guys have any more questions. 
Um, I'm glad. I'm. Yay. Hi, Julie. Yes, please put comment on anything that I didn't mention. She might have it in here. I actually haven't even read this whole thing yet, mostly because I figured I'll have enough time. Our first drive is a 12 hour straight drive um, <clears throat> straight to DC. So yay, everyone can say a little prayer for me. Oh, thank you for the link, Nicole. Um, and yes, so this is the binder. It's amazing. I will put a, um, I will put the link underneath just in case anyone's ever interested in contacting them. I highly recommend them. She, Kim was incredible. Um, please, if you missed anything, go back and watch the video. If you have any questions, I will be, you know, constantly looking at this so you can, if you're watching it later, go ahead and um, comment and I'll answer questions. Um, and you guys have a wonderful night and thank you so much. I'm going to go live on Thursday. We get the RV Wednesday night. So Thursday, I'm spending all day packing it so we can leave early on Friday. So I'm going to be um, basically going live, showing you like, how did, I, how did I buy? How did I pack? What am I bringing? Um, again, I might be telling you all the wrong things. So this is not like, this is just me doing, showing you what I'm doing for my very first trip. This is definitely not me saying I'm an expert. I'm in no way an expert. I have listened to experts. I have read experts. I am hoping that um, I am learning enough so that um, so that I can um, you know do this again easier and not feel as overwhelmed. Uh, so you guys have a wonderful night and I will let you know when I'm gonna go live on Thursday so you can kind of follow along and maybe, you know, comment and let me know things like, don't do that <laughs> or put that back. That would be great. Or you forgot this. <laughs> like I've written down toilet paper and, and like paper towels. And someone told me I should bring a rug, but I don't know if I can bring a rug, guys. <laughs> so I'll see you guys Thursday. Thanks.